of Arkansas coach. Funny individual. I sat with him at dinner, and you're going to enjoy this. Coach Ken Hatfield, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chris. It is an honor to be here, and it's because of Tiny Town that I'm even standing here today. When I, I had the opportunity to come and enjoy the festivities of the wonderful people and all of you out here, my first thought was back in 1960, not many people remember that, but when I came here on a recruiting visit, all of my hosts took me Venetian in. We got one of them big old steaks that overlapped all the plates. But more than anything, we got that fresh bread. They brought out those rolls, that calf slobber butter we put all over. <laughs> and man, we picked down on honey until you can't believe until that steak came. But if cause of that, said I'm going to Arkansas. I gotta have that. <laughs> also, your great festival tonight and that good food. I understand that uh, they let me sample some of your great uh, wine too. And I thought about that is. When I uh, first went to Knoxville, Tennessee to coach, 1969, our neighbor uh, invited us over, Sandy, me to come over and watch the first moon landing. Well, we came over, but being good, hospitable neighbors we had, they brought a big jug out of Mogan David and began to fill our little glass up. Well, any of you remember what happened? They delayed the moon landing about three and a half hours. <laughs> By the time that happened, I guarantee there were four people set foot on the moon before that thing goes. <laughs> the other time, I was at the Air Force Academy, and we had a guy that was coming to the Academy named Tony Reno. And uh, his dad lived in Denver, and I said, I need to meet the family sometime. I had to drive up to Denver to pick somebody up. And when I got there, I said, I'll go by and see Mr. Ms. Reno. Well, I got to Mr. Reno's house, and light snow was coming down. And I got in there, and Mr. Reno said, let me show you my hobby. Well, he took me downstairs, and I saw about 40 bottles of homemade wine. That was his hobby. Well, again, he started being a good host and filling my little grape juice glass up over and over again. <laughs> After an hour, and I got to that car, and before I started, I said, God, help me get to the airport i said i know there's only one airport and there's but i'm seeing four stop signs so please help me get there but tonight i had some good homemade wine that went with my spaghetti it was a touch of class and i do appreciate it when i think about your great festival 112 years and the first thing i read about is tradition tradition there isn't anything finer than to go back to the folks who started, the people that had the values and the, the virtues that really count, and that started this festival. And I think about how they passed it down from generation to generation to generation to where we are today. When I, when I read the, the paper and talking about tonight that this Queen's Coronation, the whole event is about tradition, I thought about tradition with football that I had, 1869, few short years after the Civil War, they played the first football game ever when Princeton played Rutgers. I thought about